morning everyone welcome back to another fossil hunting video sure most of you will have seen boris's announcement yesterday so from thursday england is going back into another lockdown so it'll be another month and a bit till everyone can get back out on the beaches again which is a shame but there's nothing you can do about it luckily i've got quite a few videos already recorded with some really nice finds which i can release over a period of this month so if you enjoy this video please give the video a like and subscribe so you can see my future videos so you can probably see that the tide is still quite far in in fact it's hitting the rocks over there but i'm still going to make my way over i'm just going to be a little bit more careful so in my bag i've got a very nice piece of a scattered ichthyosaur i will show you it at the end so definitely try and stick around to the end so you can see it Looks like it was a Harposaurus ammonite. It's a wet, gloomy and miserable morning here at Whitby. Guess the weather is perfectly fitting for golf weekend, which should have been this weekend, but due to the current situation with the pandemic, it's of course cancelled like most things. There's a big old overhang up there. Every time I come down, I'm expecting it to have fallen. Full of sandstone, it'll come down in a right foot. Hopefully no one will be under it when it comes down. There's a few little pieces of Whitby Jet on the floor, but it looks quite, quite poor quality, I think, as though it's gonna crack when it dries out. That's very poor quality. Probably take, I'll probably take this big one back. I think for me, the best thing about fossil hunting is the fact that you never know when your next really nice find is going to be. I always find, usually when you're not expecting it, is when you walk up to it. That's happened quite a few times with me. Walking back from a very poor day collecting, and then all of a sudden, out of the corner of your eye, you spot something superb. Here's a fossil just laying on the floor. It's a belemite, part of a fossilised squid. There's an ammonite in there. little perfect round one that's a fat boy look how big that is the proper keel on that Not too much around today, unfortunately. It's always worth giving the rocks a good old check over because sometimes the fossils are actually laying on the back, face down in the shingle. Just a whirl. Yep.
There's a little baby one inside here. Can you make it out? I'm going to make my way back off the beach now. I'm going to do some hammering and I've got just the odd few nodules to break open. Then I'll show you that amazing little piece of a very scattered ichthyosaur. Hopefully inside, if we're very lucky, there will be a little lobster or an ammonite. It's broken open. Is there anything inside? No, totally empty. Unfortunately guys, today there's no keepers, but it's nice to be on the beach. Behind me, there's a rainbow as well. So now I'm going to show you an awesome piece of an ichthyosaur that actually wasn't found by me, it was found by my mum about two years ago on the beach at Whitby. My mum doesn't really collect fossils, but she was lucky enough to spot it at the bottom of the cliff. And it's a brilliant find. Okay guys, so here the find is, you can see loads of little bivalve nutshells washed up amongst it and in between you can see loads of scattered bone. I think the probably pieces of rib, but the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you can probably make out this beautiful little piece which is an ichthyosaur tooth. There's also another one to the right of it, but that's still buried under the rock. But how lovely of them colours of that tooth. So this piece is preserved in a heavy and thick pyrite, so it couldn't really be prepared very well. There's bone running literally all around it, even on the sides. proper packed really cool piece and on the back there's even pieces of jaw so I'm assuming the teeth are from the animal that the bones come from due to the fact that the piece has been scattered along the seabed it could be from other predators I'm pretty much 99% sure that the bones are from an ichthyosaur rather than a crocodile but you can never really be 100% sure because there's no verts but that's definitely an ichthyosaur tooth I think Either way I think it's a fantastic piece So with that ichthyosaur, what I've just shown you, I guess there's two possibilities really. Either the current and the tide have washed all the bones out like that, or the other possibility is it's been heavily scavenged by other predators. So crocodiles, ichthyosaurs and fish. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please give it a like. And if, and if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see when I upload a new video. If you want to watch some more fossil hunting videos right now, particularly in this one month lockdown that we're just about to go into, there's a good few playlists on my YouTube channel that I've made that you can watch more of my fossil hunting videos and more of my finds. So that should be linked below and there should be a pop-up on your screen that you can click and watch more. See you next time.